Get the vehicle you want at The Car Company in Warsaw. You'll find more makes, models, colors, and styles of high-quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs at half the price of new. And now your new full-line Suzuki dealership for motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. The Car Company on US 30 East in Warsaw. Lake City TV. Local. Dependable. On demand. Hello, I'm Mandy Whitaker. The American Red Cross has planned several blood drives locally. On June 20th from 2 to 6 p.m., there will be a blood drive at the Mentone United Methodist Church and at 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. at Lake City University People Development Center in Warsaw. You'll have an opportunity to donate again on June 24th from 1 to 6 p.m. at North Webster Church of God. Other blood drives will be June 25th from 3 to 7 p.m. at Camp Creek Church of the Brethren in Etna Green and June 28th from noon to 5 p.m. at Culver's in Warsaw. Tomorrow is Warsaw High School's graduation ceremony. Family and friends will travel near and far to support their graduate. The ceremony will begin at 7 p.m., but seating is limited, so you must receive a ticket from a graduate to get in. Mayor Tomer will be kicking off Walk and Wander Warsaw at this month's First Friday event. You can walk and wander Warsaw viewing 16 unique sculptures. They are said to be very lifelike and an experience you won't forget. This all takes place in downtown Warsaw tomorrow starting at 5 o'clock. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast Thursday, sunny and pleasant, high 75. Thursday night, clear and cool, low 50. Friday, bright, sunshine and a bit milder, high 79. Yesterday, we brought you a story about a Bremen building that caught fire and exploded. Today, we have more information on the cause of the fire. According to WNDU, the fire that caused an explosion at Charleston Corporation in Goshen was caused by static electricity catching a bottle of acetone on fire. Charleston Corporation ironically was cited by OSHA for a situation very close to this in 2012. After investigating the fire, OSHA determined that the proper precautions were not taken to ensure the safety of the building from flammable material. For 1480 News Now, I'm Mandy Whitaker. Have a great day.